Hi, my name is Mari Gossage. I'm Japanese. I'm attending Evergreen State College. I'm happy to have been able to participate in this project. We talked by Instagram from India, Vietnam, and the US. Our members are Chan Kok Zun, Chan Navan Choi Jam, Jeb Baoming, Sarani Yadabu, Aparuba Tangar, Aiden Sharling, Varanuba Ketchum, and Mary Gossage. Our topic is COVID 19's effect on tourist consumer behavior in Vietnam. Hi, my name is Valerie Ketchum. I'm from the Evergreen State College. So as Mari said, we did our paper on COVID in Vietnam's tourist industry. Tourism is a major component of Vietnam's economy, but unfortunately due to the pandemic, this industry has taken a huge hit. Our fellow group members in Tron, a major tourist city have felt the effects on the economy. The national and worldwide lockdowns and new health restrictions on events and gatherings have affected the economy more than the 2008 financial crisis and terrorist attacks. Hi, I'm Aiden. I'm a student at Evergreen State College. Due to several lockdowns halting or disrupting hospitality services since 2020, COVID-19's influence on the tourism sector has become a growing concern in Vietnam. The IMF points towards several economic services in Vietnam facing trouble, with tourism, transportation, and lodging being some of the most afflicted. As a result, we think it's vital to take a look into this tourist crisis in order to find out its full effects and propose adequate forms of rehabilitation for the economic sector. Hello, everyone. Hello, every international friends. Our friendly greeting from Vietnam. We are three Vietnamese students in business and tourist two group. And let me introduce for you guys three friendly members, Trần Nguyễn Thùy Giang. Uh, the second one is me, Trần Quốc Dũng. And the last one is Yip Bảo Minh. We all come from Nha Trang University and we glad to be here with you today to introduce about our final product for this symposium. Uh, for this symposium, we are in charge of the methodology part and conducting the survey. To be honest, this is our honor to be a part of this team. Working with international friends from different countries not only help us to master our language, but also create more possibility for us to understand more about different cultures from different countries. For the survey part, we have, we have discussed with the group members and strongly believe that Nha Trang City would be the ideal place to conduct the survey because it is a coastal city and the number of tourists who come here for each year is enormous. Specifically, we have designed a short questionnaire including 10 questions to collect the information about the tourists in Nha Trang City and to know more about our questionnaires, Catherine or Trần Nguyễn Thuy Giang will help you with that. Okay, hello everybody. I'm Catherine Trần Nguyễn Thuy Giang. For the interview part, we did a survey about aspects of tourism in Nha Trang City, such as how customers know the destination, uh, time and the place to stay, restaurant and methods. Uh, tourism facility of tourists, as well as the types of tourism that tourists often choose. In addition to tourist attraction, we also have some questions about customer certification uh, with accommodation, customer service, uh, prices, and suggestions for tourism in Nha Trang City. We, um, we conducted the interview within one week in both face-to-face -face and online methods. In, uh, we, uh, we have interviewed more than 50 tourists in Nha Trang City, including um, uh, inbound and outbound to tourists, uh, and obtained the same research as in the final report. Combining the um, theory, the theoretical and practical parts of the group interview, we have come up with some solution to recover the tourism industry after COVID-19. And uh, now, uh, Bảo Minh will, uh, will present the, this part. Uh, thank you, thank you, Catherine. 
Um, hello everyone, my name is Bao Mun, um, and I'm from Yen University, like uh, Yang and Yung. Uh, so now it's my turn. Uh, I'm for the methodology. Um, this part, I will show you how we complete the survey. You know, the tourism industry, uh, this is a mixed method study using data from the quantitative health survey conducted for participating customers and uh, qualitative data found in focus group discussion from members who oversaw uh, the survey. All members are business too, who return from uh, real surveys longer than two months uh, or fourth month in uh, 2022 are eligible to participate in the current COVID-19 survey study. At, at that time, a total of more than 50 customers were eligible for this uh, resurvey. Uh, you know, survey questionnaires and focus group discussion team patients survey a brief of around 14 questions. Our COVID-19 survey has been uh, added to the travel customers activity and consumption survey, which asks about the impact of the pandemic of uh, travelers overall health, uh, perceptions, and con concerns, uh, the challenges they face in maintaining their overall health and compliance interventions. The discussion lasted for more than uh, 60 minutes and was formed. Post-sessional discussion and interview among group members were recorded to maximize consent when considering participant responses. The moderator posed the following few questions to the participants, just like uh, how has COVID-19 impacted your travel? Uh, what barriers and concerns do you have about increase in COVID cases in the community? Or how will you cope with possible increased material needs? So that's all of our part today. And thank you so much for listening. Hello. My name is Saloni Adab and I'm from MIT University Mumbai. A conclusion, the effects of COVID-19 pandemic on different sectors of tourism in the Vietnamese developing city. However, there were definitely differences in the severity of harm seen by businesses in the percentage of customer loss, the loss in absolute value, relative turnover and the proportion of employee labor. The proactive actions taken by tourism businesses in reaction to pandemic were deemed to be effective, whereas government financial solutions were believed to be crucial but ineffective for the local tourism recovery. Hello, my name is Apurva and I'm from Amity University, Mumbai, India. The Oceans of Interconnections is the result of a five-year cooperation between Evergreen State University in Washington and Amity Institute of Behavioral Allied Sciences, that is IBAS, at Amity University in Maharashtra, India. China's Wuyi University and Vietnam's Natrang University, that is NTU. The Oceans of Interconnection Symposium brings together cross-country teams of researchers who share research interests, conduct research, and disseminate research findings in order to enhance knowledge and encourage good changes in practice. This innovative and experimental online platform for cross-cultural interaction assisted us in evaluating ourselves, our knowledge, and our potential. It assisted us in discovering previously undiscovered aspects of ourselves and developing a strategy for focusing and enhancing those hidden skills. We'd want to express a heartfelt gratitude to all the teachers and all the faculties who have been through this journey. And this was only possible due to all the professors and the students who have put in the, a lot of hard work and effort for the symposium. Thank you.